Ah, uh, so this is a tent set up. No fly, it's a single skin, so you don't need a tent fly or anything. That's how it goes. It's supposed to be pretty strong in the weather and that, so we'll see how it goes. Not bad tonight anyway, I think. My, maybe a little grey clear, but I don't know if it's going to get much rain. No, so I've got this big area here where I can get in. Don't back like that, show you. So there. Sleep in there, big door. So on the other side, there's a bit of a vegetable area where I can put me, I'll put, probably put my pack on that side and then all my other stuff on this side. Um, yeah, so that's it. Air bed and pillow. It's a comfy air bed, but it is quite big in the pack. Now I do have another one that folds up a lot smaller and would give me more room in the pack which I'm actually thinking of doing next time because this one actually takes up quite a bit of room and the other one comes with a pillow as well so I might have to see how that goes got my sleeping bag as you can see <coughs> this is my setup over here got stuff everywhere it's like the bombs going off Oh, this table here, it's a bit flooded here as you can see because there's a big puddle there and a fire pit in the middle of the puddle or lake or river or whatever so yeah it's been a bit wet out here. I've had a couple of mozzies but not many so I just had myself like with a cup of beef noodle cup of soup thing and I've had coffee, that's all my stuff. That'll be getting put in the vestibule or in the pack as well. Stuff that I don't really need. Little campfire worked well. Ah, yeah. oh, by the way, when I was going back and forwards up on the track, well, this is where I'm staying as well. A couple sides by the river, but they were overtaken, taken already, so I wasn't able to use those, so I've come back here to the Bush, but you can hear the frogs and the birds in the background so it should be a cool night sleeping out here anyway at the back there's my tent um, yeah oh that's right I was going to say I lost me um, little tripod that I used to hold the phone and I got a sports camera as well charged the battery up on it for the last 36 hours went to use it this morning first part of the hike and, um, yeah, the battery was flat, so that's pretty useless, so I might have to get rid of that one and invest in another type. Yeah, so that's it all set up. I just thought I'd show you some of the things that I've got with me camping. So I'll start off with me knife down here. Just a knife that I carry. This end here, you can close that. And down here, there's actually a Stanley knife. It comes out, a blade that comes out. So you can use that. Uh, but you can't have them both out at the same time, only one at a time. Got my cooking, like I showed you, my pot, my little cup, my burner, my fork and stuff. This is a little, it's a little rechargeable um, vac blower. So that's what I blew my bed up, my mattress up with. It's really quick. Um, the other type, the other way that it came with is some sort of big pillow thing and you plug it into the hole and then you fill up the pillow with air and then squeeze it into the air but into the bed but it takes about oh, 10 minutes five maybe five minutes to do that quite painful annoying thing so i've got brought this a really small as you can see to my hand this is my head torch and i'll use later on if it gets dark this is salt i have salt went hiking once and uh, it got leeches on me Apparently the salt's supposed to help get the leeches off, so I got that. 
this is just me um me um fire lighter flint the flint that i use when i go hiking just a bit of shower in the can this is my uh torch that will be going in the tent and just hanging up from up there so i got a light these plastic bags are like a waterproof thing i got them at aldi they're uh, really handy i didn't think i was actually ever going to use them but I can get quite a bit of this stuff in there it just keeps it all together so you're not high looking through it for when you go looking through your pack that's a camera that I was telling you about that went flat got another one at home so different brand so I'll use that now this is just my coffee that I usually take away just some snacks I'm gonna have this pasta tonight see how I feel and my milk and my fruit loops, little fruit loops packets that I'm going to be having in the morning. Found some snakes in my um, <coughs> glove boxes. I was getting something out for there. So I bought them. Uh, just a couple of snacks, a pair of socks that I'll be wearing tomorrow. These are bamboo. I wore um, the uh, Explorer socks today and their feet get quite hot in those woolen ones. This is my... Um, uh, first aid kit, so yeah, this stuff in there. Yeah, so the yeah, these are um, bamboo, keep your feet a lot cooler, supposed to be. Last a bit longer, okay. Now, these have fell down onto the ground with the wind. Annoying other pants that I was wearing on before. So what I've done is, as you can see, there's one leg with in the short area and one with like the long leg on so these are the ones that i would have worn hiking i usually just wear shorts even in the rain even if it's raining i wear shorts i find if i got a big wet raincoat on i get hot and sweaty these blue ones are my thermals just in case i need them for the night um this is a vest so if it's cool when I'm walking, or to, it's this evening, I can put that on. This is my good raincoat, jacket, windproof, weatherproof jacket. It's actually quite heavy, but yeah, it's supposed to be warm and dry. I've worn it once when I went for a, just like a little walk around home. It was really warm, so that should be good. Just my water bottle and back around again. My shoes down here. These are Merrill hiking boots. The blue one is my towel, which I'm not sure I said I told you about. And then just my one planet pack. It says it is a... Uh, if I can find that. There we go. It's upside down. Just to turn it around. So it says WBA. Now I'm not sure if this is true or not, but apparently WBA stands for Ways Bugger All. <laughs> so pretty cool if that's the case. Yeah, so that's my hiking gear. I'll just get this stuff packed into the tent, except for what I need tonight. And I've put my tent bag and stuff already away in the pack. I'll just put the other stuff that I don't need in the pack and put in that other vestibule and then just got the area. So I got these shoes as well. These are really lightweight, but yeah, they're not super comfortable. Oh, they are comfortable, but I really need a pair of socks on. And they're actually quite warm at the moment. So I got a pair of thongs at home, so next time I think I'll just wear thongs. About the same weight, maybe a bit lighter. But, um, yeah, just more comfortable than wearing the hiking boots after a day of hiking. So here we are down at Huggett's Crossing. Um, yeah, just been down here, been here for about two hours now, I think, an hour and a half, two hours. Just been sitting having a bit of a lie in the pack or like I mean the tent 
bit more tired, shall we say, after the walk than I expected. So I had something to eat. Now I've just come down, just gave myself a bit of a wash on the arms and legs and face. A bit sweaty from the hike, obviously, and now I've just come down. So just up here is where you come down from the campsite. Drive across over here and over up there, which you've seen me before do. Come down here with Mon. And we cross the river here, you've got a photo of her in the middle of the river. And one of the uh, one of my expeditions. Yeah. So I just thought I'd come down here, sit down here for 15, 20 minutes before I go back and make some tea. I brought um, the water bottle down and the saucepan down to fill up with water. So I'll be right when I go back to cook tea. Okay, as you can see, I've cooked my little packs of pasta for tea on my little burner. Worked quite well, a, so I'm quite happy with that. <clears throat> I'm just sitting here waiting to cool down a bit, and then I'll be eating tea. Hey, morning peeps, how's it going? It's about 10 o'clock. I'm just about to head off. I'm all packed up. This is where my tent was, just here. I got everything packed up on the pack, ready to go. I would have uh, done some filming this morning, but um, yeah, I've had a little bit of rain. Sun's come out now, and it's beautiful and clear over there. So hopefully it'll stay clear. Um, yeah, so I didn't do much filming because of that. So I'm about to head off. Uh, I just had um, some cereal and a coffee for brekkie. Did my dishes. Now heading off. So remember yesterday when I said I thought I got lost and I'd uh, backtracked a couple hundred metres down that way. This is where I came and stopped. And I saw this sign. Thought, and I know that's not the right way that I got to go. So this is where I backtracked and went back down. And... As you can see, there's a yellow marker here where they've all been orange so far. So then I came, so I walked down, came back up to this spot, had a rest, walked up here to the sign up here and saw that track down there and that's where I had to go. Oh, there we go. There's some tags on the tree there as well, which I never saw yesterday either. Might have to open up my eyes a bit and make it a bit easier for me. Right, so, down along here somewhere is where I lost my tripod yesterday. So hopefully, I'll be able to find it. It's a bit of a rock ledge down here and I reckon I've lost it there. So we'll have a look when I get down there. Just stopping for a drink of water. Uh, so I've just finished my little break, about to head off and I've turned around and seen this, black clouds. Now they did forecast rain today, so I'm guessing I may get some. I'm heading this way, so hopefully I'll be quick enough for it to not catch me up. So this is a rock ledge I was telling you about where I thought I might have lost my tripod. Bam, not here. So it must be further down the track, hopefully.
I am along there somewhere. Okay, so I'm just walking down this bit here, down through this little gully, and look what I just spied. My tripod! Found it! Woo! So it's obviously worked its way loose coming down this hill. Like I said, I just have it tucked in me belt. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to work out something for it. And it's just started to spit rain now. So I'll keep going, I might stop and put my vest on, see how long this rain lasts. It's not heavy, so it's okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's raining quite heavy now. See the water spots down in the river on the bit of water there. So I'm actually stopped to put my vest on. I got a raincoat thing, but I get a bit hot when I'm hiking, so I get a bit sweaty. So I've got something that sort of keeps me a bit warmer and a little bit dry. That's okay. T shirt I got is on like a good hiking one. Wicks away the wet quite quickly, dries off quite quickly, so it's okay. So I'll put that on. We'll see how we go. Now this isn't, no, it isn't, it isn't the proper track. The track back there, there's a sign and it goes back of there, about 50 metres or so. The track splits into two and it goes up, which is why I came yesterday. And then I've seen this orange marker when I came down here, because this is where I came to yesterday when I thought I was lost and I thought the track went this way. So I actually came down here and then, yeah, I turned around and went back up where to the sign. And then on the way down, I saw this yesterday. So I thought instead of going up over those hills and stuff, up over that way, I might follow, see if I can follow this along here, follow along the river instead. Hopefully there's a track through there somewhere and I'll be able to find it and get me back onto the main walking track. Okay, as you can see and here started to rain again so I've just stopped put on my vest getting a little bit cool it's coming quite down down quite heavy but that's all right we'll just continue on I'm heading back to the car anyway so it's not like I have to worry about wet clothes tonight and I got to change anyway so it wouldn't have mattered so we'll just continue on Okay, so I'm uh, just having a break here. It's about 1.30. Probably got about an hour to go, I'm guessing. Up the end, as far as you can see. Right up. Sort of there, you know, a bit further right up. Um, that is um, Dermody's camp spot, which I walked past yesterday, never knew. I don't know, sort of signs, so I found it on the way back. So when I leave here, when I get back to the Ute, I'm actually thinking I might see if I can find it on the map and go for a drive and see what it's like. Right on the river, there was a drop toilet there. I just continued on walking though, but because I wanted to get like a bit maybe here for a break. I knew this little rise was coming up. So I thought oh, I'll come here and have a break here, get a nice view up here. As you can see, both ways. Uh, it's been steady rain ever since I stopped and put my jacket on about uh, uh, be a good 40 minutes ago, actually. Yeah, no, nearly, yeah, 40, 50 minutes ago, something like that. So it's been steady. I'm still quite warm because I'm walking. Pretty sure I'm going to change a few things out once I get back home in the pack that I don't believe I need and go a bit lighter and a bit smaller 
but we'll work that out when we get back. All right, and I'll just finish this nearly out of water again. I haven't, probably could have got water just down in there. And I was hoping there was gonna be water down there, but it was just a dry creek bed and no real access to the river, but there was a track back there a bit that I could have gone got some water because my container's nearly out, but hopefully I'll get some, but I don't think I will because I'm pretty sure I follow over, go over that hill over there. Instead of going back down to the river, I go follow this sort of ridge line up and over and then down to Wombats, if I'm correct. So we'll find out. Hey, uh, g'day peeps, I'm here. Well, that only took me 15 minutes from that last little break. And I've made it here, so yeah, I'm finished. So yeah, I hope you like this little video that I've done on my overnight hike. Bit different to the four driving ones. Like I said, I've got a motorbike and I'm hoping to do that soon as well. Thinking I might do a Pinnacles trip in the Ute next, but I'm not too sure. So yeah, if you hope you like these, if you like it, yeah, press click and subscribe and the other bits and pieces you need to do and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching